저는 지금 홍콩에 왔어요. 홍콩에 왜 왔냐면 영국 문화원에서 주관하는 영국 대학 박람회가 있는 날입니다. 그래서 저는 오늘도 박람회가 펼쳐지는 지금 호텔에 와 있고요. 특히 오늘 제가 관심이 있는 부분은 영국 의대 파운데이션이 있어요. 오클란 대학교에서 하는 영국 의대 대학 입학 과정이 있는데 오클란에서 오늘 그 교수님이 홍콩에 와 계시거든요. 그래서 지금 올라가서 우리 교수님하고 함께 영국 의대에 대한 이야기를 나눠보도록 하겠습니다. 지금까지. My name is Dr. Andy Ginty. I'm the Phase 1 lead for medicine, so I'm in charge of the first two years of the programme. And New Clan Medicine uh, is based in University of Central Lancashire, which is in Preston in the UK. And we offer a five year MBBS programme. Okay. Uh, can you talk about uh, there's no difference between. Undertaking medicine in the UK is a, a programme that is regulated by the General Medical Council. So, university is regulated as other medical programs through the GMC, and that means that the quality and the training and the patient safety is all ensured, both the curriculum and the assessment that students take. When you think of acting as a doctor, there are different courses, and, and we try to be uh, special and different by offering things like early clinical experience. So, you can will give you a month. Uh, clinical practice in your first year and that's uh, quite different than some courses that focus more on traditional academic subjects. So you'll still learn with us the anatomy and the physiology and the pharmacology but you'll also get a time in February and in May uh, to go out and work in general practice. So you'll go into community medicine and you really get a chance to put in some of the skills that you've learned. So with us every Tuesday you're in our clinical skills suite and you're learning about how to communicate with patients, how to take patient histories, how to record patient notes, how to complete physical examinations. So what happens in February and May is that you're able to go out and put into practice some of those skills and that really shows you you're developing those skills as well as the academic side. In year two you'll carry on and go out every Tuesday and that will also give you a chance to meet patients, learn about the different diseases and really that's enhancing what you might pick up in textbooks to really put your skills into practice and get a good understanding of that you know, you're know you ready to, to become a doctor. Years three, four and five you're in hospitals for three days a week and in the university one day a week so very much more uh, clinical work. In terms of the, the standards of the teaching you'll meet, you're, you're, again you're meeting the national standards from the GMC and you can see that you can uh, the reports about his teaching and its medical course are available on the GMC. Students have also got the guarantee of a, a contingent partnership which means that the quality of the programme is again checked through, uh, through Liverpool Medical School and St George's Medical School in London. So they're offering uh, the support to ensure that although it's a, a new medical programme uh, that the training you're getting is as, as best as it can be. I mean, is it really possible for Koreans to, to be a doctor in the UK? Yes, yeah, certainly. I mean, if you've undertaken medical training in the UK, all our placements are in NHS hospitals. You're getting practice working with patients really from the early on. And you'll get a chance to work at some of the bigger hospitals. So our biggest hospitals are in Blackburn and Burnley. And they serve a population of about half a million. And the hospital itself has about 650 beds, so it's a very large sort of city-based hospital. We've also got smaller hospitals to learn more about remote and rural medicine, and they're based in uh, an area called Whitehaven, and that's in the Lake District. So that will give you an opportunity to look at um, more community-based care. By completing your studies at UCAN and through the NHS, you're eligible to apply for the foundation programmes in the UK in the first round. And that means that you can seek to complete your training to give you full registration as a doctor. And what you do is, at the end of your five-year training, you apply determining what region of the country you want to work in. So the next step after medical school is to go to a region, maybe the northwest region of the UK, or the northeast, or the London region, or maybe Scotland. And your performance in the university, and plus uh, a, a national assessment, 
is taken into consideration when you get ranked for this. Yeah, so what happens in the UK, we currently we train 6,000 doctors who, who graduate every year. There are 7,500 training programs, places. There are more than medical students. But you've got to remember that uh, those training places will also accept students, international students and students from the EU into them. So they will be become oversubscribed. And so what we say is the better your performance and the more um, you, 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 you do well in terms of exams and things, the more likely you are to get your choice. I've heard that uh, you can get food. One of the very best for yeah, certainly. We, we, we have the most available places of any medical school in the UK. We've also got about 5,000 international students to do lots of courses across the university. We have about 20,000 undergraduates, which makes us about the 10th biggest university in the UK for um, undergraduate studies anyway. So if we're very good. We have lots of student societies. We have lots of support for students. We offer the academic and pastoral support that the students need. And we've also because we have so many international students, we can support and we focus on developing skills within the students. So we can focus on the clinical experience, the working through the NHS aspects of it, the early patient contact, and also some of the communication skills. So whilst language is an important aspect of, of communicating with patients, there's a lot more about how you interact with patients, how you can get across patients to follow advice. So patients might go to doctors, but it's more than just you tell them to do something and the patient does it. You need to be able to understand what the patient feels, what the emotions are. Maybe the patient doesn't want to take a medicine because it gives them a stomach ache or uh, there, there are too many medicines or they forget. So clinical communication is about thinking of different ways to help that patient by maybe changing their medication, maybe making it a, a different routine or expressing why it's important for them to say complete a course of treatment. And to study the medic, we need uh, what is Okay, so medicine is a really a, a sort of occurring role, and we're really interested in can you understand that role. What we like to think about is, you know, you'll be on nights, you'll be doing shift work in medicine, you'll be in hospitals a lot of time. And we want to really see how you can care and empathise with people. So by getting some experience of occurring role, that will help you understand really, you know, is medicine for you. So what we like to say is try to get a couple of weeks of experience. Now we understand it's really difficult for people to often get hospital experience. And so you could work in a community, you could work with a, an evening group, you could work in scout, children's groups and things like that. It's working with people more than the medical side of it. And so what we need to think about is try to get experience of working with people, um, seeing how you can communicate with people, what the needs of people are. Uh, if you've got older people in the family, maybe helping out with them. Uh, and just understand really the, the caring role. Because medicine's about the, the values. You, you, you need to be really demonstrating that um, you understand what it's like to care for people and to really reflect on that. So any work experience is, is valuable. Um, medical work experience is often seen as the one people want to do. But if it isn't possible, get other experience. So what we try to say is maybe three to six months of volunteering, maybe one night a week, you could help people learn a new skill. Uh, maybe you could learn sign language or, or, or something else, or you could teach somebody a new skill. And so about that is the interaction that you need because it's the, it's the communication that's important in medicine. So we can manage growth expectation, we can also support students and keep that and we're building. Yeah, so what happens is the students who are entering the uh, their fourth year now, when the, in, in a year's time they will make their choice. So they will already over the summer be thinking about where they want to be, what hospitals they want, what part of the country they want to work in. Uh, in December they take a, a, a prescribing exam to, to, so they can prescribe the doctor. In January they'll take the SJT exam, their national exam, and they might find out sort of February, March. So by, before they've graduated, they will know where they're going. And the thing is, now they can, if they do well, they'll get the first choice, but they might get the second or third and things like that. Yeah, so um, salary is around about 30,000 UK pounds. They can kind of obviously earn a little bit of overtime, but it's, it's, it's somewhere between about 28 and 30,000. 
so it's, it's I mean, yeah, the national UK wage is, is less than that. Yeah. yeah. So it's more than the, 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 and then once they've completed those two years, the salary would go. Oh, 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 oh. oh it could be anything. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, general practice is earn eighty to a hundred thousand and more. It's common to work for NHS customers mm. your own. Yeah, the NHS is the ma major route, really, and again, it's where your training program would be. You've got to remember that. Uh, you know, your five years of medicine have made you into a very general doctor. Yeah, yeah. Well, foundation has given you that full registration. So what we say is, after medical school, you're provisionally registered. Right. One more year, you're a full registered doctor, so you can work independently as a doctor. Oh. To become a GP, say that will be five more years after foundation. So if you wanted to say become a consultant, you might start at 18, but you'll be 30 really before you you've got that. So it is a, and that's why the sort of you know, commitment, the drive to the experience, to looking after people, things has got to be there because it's a really long journey. It's a hard exactly, spend. yeah, five to seven years. I and mean, the great thing is, you long know, your doctor. But, really but still, you're a doctor yes. during those. Yeah, and, and you're working, and you're salaried, and things like that. And so there are, there are different levels. We've gone poor trainees and specialist trainees now, and you, you'd work through that pathway. And again, there's a massive shortage of doctors, so so that might be worth. People can come into programs as well. Australia, lifestyle, and things like that. Yeah. People, you know, you want to, want to experience different. So, if you wanted to go to America, they'd have to sit the US MLE, it's a national American license exam. Yeah. About three quarters of people outside America pass that first time, so, so, so there's a reasonable are, chance of doing that, but you, you pay extra fees to, to, to be licensed within America. To sit that exam, they have to study or is they it do. Oh, right. yeah. So in America it's not, but in, anywhere like Australia where UK qualifications are recognised, you can just work straight away. But yeah, certainly people in the UK are using that qualification thinking. People are much more global and, and working many different jobs and, you know, again, maybe more countries than, than ever before, really. I think we're seeing that in all careers. Some comments for the Koreans that wants to be a doctor in the UK. Right, well, I mean, uh, advice for, for, for being a doctor in the UK. Well, it's a, it's a great profession. Uh, it's certainly recognised as a really important profession. Healthcare is so fundamental to, to people's lives. If you think about populations these days, medicine's more exciting probably than ever. We're seeing People are living longer, they're living better and healthier lives. Doctors can take a great role in the prevention of illnesses. So the advice that you can give to people, if you think about diabetes, heart disease, there are, there are big diseases that are now being seen working together. So it's a really exciting time to get, uh, to become a doctor and to really make a difference. The challenges that you'll get uh, as, as a doctor in the UK uh, and the demands that are made on you are really going to be inspiring and energizing for you and so it's a very rewarding career you also get a chance to work with lots of other health professionals from nurses physiotherapists occupational therapists so there's a great teamwork and sense of responsibility um, but certainly in the uk is is a, a real great experience and we're really preparing you for, for a career for the future for lifelong learning and hopefully also to to work as a really as a, a global doctor そうでるな。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う